Look how much time we have six minutes, Ethan. Let a fella drive in peace. <laughs> Monoske is the one that's gonna get blown up! <laughs> anyway, I had a dream about Rantaro last night. There was like kind of like a Persona esque situation where instead of going to. It was to a, a wet dream, I bet. Almost. <laughs> no, not, not actually. But instead of like being a killing game scenario, it was like a Persona esque scenario. And all 16 students move into like the Iwatodai dorms <laughs> instead. <laughs> and Rentaro like helps you unpack on your first day. And it was like a really cute dream where you're just buddies with Rentaro. You have such like. But then he still died. Oh, and great. then Shuichi later was like, remember that time <laughs> he helped me unpack my room? Like a family guy cutaway? <laughs> you remember that time? Well, we were also recording it at the same time, so it was kind of us, but also Shuichi. Oh, okay. So it was kind of weird, but... Weird. Anyway, my dreams are awesome. Everyone should be jealous. They're so, like, controlled. Like, it's also why I sleep for, like, ten hours a night. It's because my dreams are just... Do you really sleep for about ten hours? <laughs> Usually nine. Oh. Uh, the other day I slept for like a whole 10 and I was like, what the heck am I doing? Because I went to bed at like, oh, I can't do that. I went to bed at like 11 and then woke up at like 10. Wow. Yeah. Welcome back to Attack, everybody. Let's continue. And Kaede's the one who killed him. Kaede, why? What a snake. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, so what are you guys talking about? Is this something I forgot? Yeah. You would have forgot it anyway. I don't know anything about what they're saying. Is this something that transpired before we were born? Yep. So what's your point? You know who Rantaro was and why he did what he did. But it's pointless now, isn't it? Never is. Nope. No, it's not pointless. Now that we know this new information, if we look back at Rantaro's case, we can find a new truth that we missed at the time. A new truth? I wonder if there's any hints that she wasn't the one who did it. It, Well, it, Kaede drops the ball in the vent, and then from there you know nothing. It, all you know is the ball came out of a different vent. Yeah. And then fell on Rantaro's head. So I'm guessing the mastermind just, you know, saw Kaede stacking the books and, like, had the camera there and, like, figured out what she was going to do and was like, I'm going to hijack that. Now, why she would hijack that when Kaede was going to do it anyway? Maybe Kaede's wouldn't have worked. Maybe, Maybe the not. ball like lost momentum in the vent. Maybe the vent actually went somewhere else. <laughs> if you like look, the vent connects to like a, the game room or something. Yeah, could have. Maybe. I don't really get it, but we just need to look at Rentaro's case again, right? Then let's do it. <laughs> so she devises this whole murder, and then there's just a random shot put ball that just falls on, like, Kaito instead. He's just like, ow! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes, let's do this together. With my vast magical powers, I'll turn Monokuma into an omnibus. Yeah, right, right. I don't really get that either, but I guess we're gonna republish Monokuma. Yay! I'm not too sure either, but the real battle's just beginning. We'll prove that the result was wrong and corner the mastermind together. I'm ready. You think our hair will turn all white and we'll get red eyes again in this game? Probably not. <laughs> I feel like we would have seen that portrait when we were grabbing things from him. True. Tara went to the library. Okay, what are we arguing? Just before Monokuma's time limit expired. Correct. Using the information provided by the survivor perk, he made his way to the hidden door. Uh huh. To expose the identity of the mastermind. I don't that know about wrong. that. We could achieve that goal. Big Bro just he didn't got want to die. With a shot football and died. That's just true. Because that is true. Because of fully automatic killing machine. Don't know about that though. Is that fully automatic? There was no culprit at the scene. The only one in the library at the time of the murder was Rantaro himself. Can we argue that? That's a fact, right? Uh, Survivor's perk monopad because it disappeared. Right. Yeah, we can argue that then. Rantaro was in the picture. Okay. So what uh, Monokuma said? Yeah, I think that tracks. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Called it right from the beginning too. Like, mm -hmm. isn't that weird? <laughs> Rantaro was not the only one in the library at the time the murder occurred. This Survivor perk monopad is proof of that. Why would that monopad be evidence? Come on, Himiko. The monopad was given exclusively to Rantaro as his survivor perk, correct? Right, come on, that's above her like IQ level, Ethan. Don't I be, know, don't I be know. mean. <laughs> but when we searched Rantaro's body, 
he didn't have it on his person. Do you think these trials would be harder or easier in person? Like if I was actually there? Yeah, like if you actually were there and investigated everything yourself, like eye to eye, but you also have to deal with like actually putting your points together properly Har in front I mean, of people. Harder. Yeah, very much harder. Y you think it would be harder just to find the culprit in general? Well, a lot of times Shuichi is like, oh, this is what this means. Yeah. I could see myself looking at stuff and being like, oh, I don't know what this means. You know? Well, I'm not saying like taking the place of Shuichi, but like if you were just like an extra there, or like if you took the place of like Himiko or something. Do I think I could do better than Himiko? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I, think well, I don't think anyone could. could do worse than Himiko. Yeah. Maybe worse than Gonta. Yeah. Monopad, which means that someone took this monopad hmm. from Rantaro after the murder. Absolutely, yes. Yep. That's very wrong. Well, you don't even remember it. You just Come don't want to get guys. blown up. That's what we've been saying. What? Uh, keep quiet, will you? I don't have time for your nonsense right now. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Uh, really? I have no clue what anyone is talking about. Why did they bring these guys back? Yeah. If we don't chime in soon, Pops is gonna push the detonator. Do we better not let these fucking chumps run their maths anymore? <laughs> I, I do think it'd be really, really, really cool if you like points the detonator at Mono Kid or something. And then he presses the button, but then, like, Himiko explodes instead. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want Himiko to die. I don't want her to die either, but I, that would actually have my jaw drop to the floor if they did that. Uh, final picture Rintaro. Final picture Rintaro, yeah. Monopad is disgusting. You should wash it right away. That's uh -huh. not a real rebuttal. Yeah. Oh, what, how am I supposed to hit that? You got it. stole the survival perk. Where's the proof? I got it right here in my hand. There's a bloody thief! I got it in my pocket. But remember, Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk Monopad to the library. Yes. If it's missing now, that must mean someone stole it. Right. He brought that Monopad to the library? I think yep. there's maybe no way that's possible. There is. There is. <laughs> they have the worst arguments. The there you go. I didn't even read it. I saw oh, yellow and was like, work. it's my chance. Oh, these mono cubs are gonna ruin everything. <laughs> they are. No, there is no doubt Rantaro brought the Survivor Perk monopad to the library. Is it the mm -hmm. picture? The picture taken just before he died clearly shows him holding it. That could be his student handbook monopad, bro. You fucking know. <laughs> I miss no, mono kids. Definitely the same monopad. You see the way the blood has dried here? Yeah. The outline of his fingers yeah. matches how he was holding it in the picture. It's such a cool thing that they have the blood be pink in this universe. I know, it is just such a nice detail that makes it different. Right, and I like seeing people like bleed at the mouth like Kaito and it's pink and it's like, why is it pink? Oh! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this necklace? Oh, you're right. it, lo it looks like a whistle like you said originally. Or like a USB. Right. Shortly after this photo was taken, Rantaro was struck in the head by the shot put ball. Maybe it is the USB that was like plugged into the uh, laptop that we plugged in. I just wonder, like, the outfits always kind of have something to do with the ultimates. He's the ultimate survivor, so... Like, I would... Okay, here's the thing. Well, if he was in a killing game, did he have an ultimate before he became the ultimate survivor? That's what I was wondering. Because, like, I mean, he... ultimate survivor is the title he got after surviving. But they don't really make non-ultimates participate in killing games unless you're Hajime, who is actually a Zuru Kamakura. So or unless still maybe stands. he was like ultimate lucky student. I don't know. But none of that screams lucky. It screams like, I don't know. Like a cult or something. It, it gives me like archaeologist vibes, kind of. Okay, I could see that. A lot of bracelets and rings. Yeah. Outline on the monopad was formed? Maybe he's just ultimate model. He's a handsome guy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I do. That's why the monopad Rantaro is holding in this picture. It's a different one. Has to be the same monopad. That, uh, yeah, that's now. what I meant. <laughs> different it's one a, from the one we found. That's what I meant. Come on, no overreacting. It makes us look like we're not paying attention. Scream all you want. Monoske is the one that's gonna get blown up. <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna do it in the same order as before, too? Probably. <laughs> I was so upset my cute cubs lost that my fingers.
finger slipped. Oh, so every time we argue against him, he's gonna blow up another one of them. Hmm. But those were some pretty fireworks. Even in death, my kid's a real cutie. You raise them good. I hear lions push their cubs into bottomless ravines to kill them. They won't kill them. So there was a thief, huh? I can't believe someone would do something so evil. You have to at least saw that with your little drones. Yeah, he had to have. So who took the monopad? Do you know anything else? Do you know anything about the person who took Rentaro's monopad? Uh... Yes, I think we do. Let me get the facts straight and think. I mean, it just has to be the mastermind, right? Whoever had access to that door. <laughs> yeah. Mmm... What does it say? What's it say, Ethan? Snooty. <laughs> How did the monopads get inside the thingy thing? And I don't know if that's right. Uh, probably not. How many monopads did Rentaro have? Oh, okay, two. two. He had two in the library. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah. two of them. I will. Not nah, do that. That's stupid. Why would I do that? For shame. For shame. All right. Okay, well, he had two. We know that. Duh. Did he? Yeah. He had one, and then they planted a different one on him, right? No, the mono pad he had. Oh, was it a different? Did he actually have two the whole time? Yeah. Just trust me, he had two. One was a survivor's perk one, and then one was just the default. Fair. I figured the default one just was his. That kind of made monopad. more sense, I think, but. What made you so confident on that one? Because he had the other one in his pocket. Oh, see, I figured the mastermind just planted that on him. Mm mm. Oh, I knew from the beginning. You're so smart. I hate it. Well, stop doing that. Uh oh. There, there we go. go. I'm what you call the goat. Ouch. Oh. I'm what you call a rat. <laughs> Sorry, what's it say? Which monopad was taken away? The Rentaro Survivor Perk one. Yeah. Duh. Come on, Sweets. You need my help for this? No. You can't even hit the things. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Which monopad was taken away? Um, your mom's. No, no, anything but that. The survivor's perk one. So I just said, don't rip off my answers. I'm so sorry. What's the E handbook mono pad? That's like the yeah, same that, thing. That's oh. the regular one. The mono cub pad is the motive video. Oh, okay. I, I really do just want to watch everyone's motive videos. I want to know ours, Shuichi's. Like, who does he like outside of this? I hope it gets revealed uh, later. Come on, how am I supposed to hit those? You gotta slow down. You can't just put your pedal to the metal I the whole can. time. I can and I will. Watch. Alright, you got one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get both of these. I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> where was the monopad taken to? Oh, where was that monopad taken to? I'm so sorry. How dare you. Sometimes I really gotta hold myself back from saying the most derogatory things. <laughs> Do you ever Green. get that? No. Oh. Like, not even, like, slurs or anything, or, like, cuss words. Just, like, I wanted to tell you to go and do some horrible things to yourself just now. <laughs> I worry about you sometimes. Hidden room. No, that's okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> that's like like a psychopath in court. Did you kill those five guys? But yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's oh, fine though. Okay, you're innocent then. Sorry. I got permission. Get them all. I got two. Hey. T. T. Oh, god dang it. No. <laughs> this is. Nah, I wouldn't do any better. It's what? I was gonna say sad to watch. Look how much time we have. Six minutes, Ethan. Let a fella drive in peace. <laughs> there we go. Is it gonna be who is in the hidden room? Who can enter? Mastermind. Mastermind. Yeah. There we go. Okay. okay. Awesome. It connects. The one who took that monopad is the mastermind. I'm sure of it. The mastermind? That's right. The survivor perk monopad was found in the library's hidden room. And only the, the trash can. No, on the table. Room, he found the shot put ball in the trash can. Right. Between the time Rentaro died and when we found him, they put that monopad in the hidden room? Yes, ma'am. No, nope, that's impossible! Why? Impossible? Why? Huh? You don't know? Why, even my cute little cubs have already <laughs> figured it oh, out! Oh, have they now? I don't know if they have. Huh? We have? Yeah, so... I'll let Monotaro explain. Oh. Huh? I've already forgotten what we're even talking about. He doesn't even care about the <laughs> blow up thingy. Uh oh. Oh crap, he's gonna push it! It's gonna be Monokin all over again! No, it's gonna be you. Yep. 
The mastermind is not in any of the photos taken in the library. Why is that? Because the cameras have a interval, a cooldown. Mm, right, yeah. Huh? Oh, that's true. Shut up. You know, I do have a question. The Seeing room. these graphics again is like, cookies, what? Right? Do you think the mastermind might be talking through Monodom? That could be, that could make sense. Because he seems to be the only one that like actually has anything to say here. And like, Monodom wouldn't remember everything this well. At all. Yeah, you so, wouldn't think anyway. Just seems odd to me. It's a good theory. set up those hidden cameras, so if the mastermind was using that door, they would have been caught on camera. Nope, because there's like, was it like 30 seconds? I think so. The picture showed anyone like that. Which was one of my problems with the third, no, the first trial, because the camera activates when he opens the door, and then it takes him 30 seconds to walk from the door to the camera yeah. <laughs> to have the shot put ball fall on his head, which is just like... If you say so. Then that reasoning is wrong. Eh. Amazing, Monodom! Well done! Let me add him. Hold on. The hidden cameras in the library had interval timers. I'm glad everyone's like doing something now though. It's not just Shuichi. Yeah. They're being smart. After the shutter snaps, the camera can't take a new photo for 30 seconds. Because I redesigned the cameras to auto-roll the film instead of having to do it manually. And yet, you could make an electronic transmitter thing that can take control of the exosols, but you can't make a camera? That doesn't require 30 seconds to stop. Yeah. <laughs> weird seeing Shuichi with the hat the anymore. Seriously. That 30 second interval? I thought he looked so weird when he took it off, but now it's the opposite. I see. So the mastermind hid in the hidden room, waited for the right timing, Grab the monopad from the library and then return to the hidden room. Hold on! There's a flaw in your logic. Where? What? What flaw? Huh? Don't ask me! <laughs> the are gonna These guys are gonna be so dead. Oh, I wish I had a dad like him. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> yeah, I know. What? Again? Reject your logic without explaining why. That's the Monokuma debate style! Wow! Take it from here, Mono Cubs! And you better use your brains or I'll kill ya! I'm glad the Mono Cubs have to suffer with us a little bit. Yeah, at least someone has to. Okay, the reason why that has to be the right thing... What are we arguing about again? Hidden room passageway? The, the hidden camera! Isn't it weird that the mastermind's not in any photos? Oh god, I don't know what half these truth bullets mean. Monokuma recognizes the mastermind's voice. That's just with spare Monokumas. Yeah. Unless Let's just listen to it. Interval between shots. Right. The camera has a 30 second interval between shots. That's enough time to take the monopad from the body. I mean, yeah. Where Should be. the mastermind hiding? The hidden room, duh. In the hidden room, of course! Uh -huh. If they were still inside the hidden room, how would they know what was happening in the library? Oh, the 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 tiny the, the six mono the camera cub. went off. Yeah. There you go. How yeah. How do you know the interval timing? Also, you well, could probably hear a thunk. <laughs> yeah. Now we've escaped certain death. Nope, I'm gonna kill one of you right now. Sorry. Hold on. When we discovered the body, how many of us were in that room? Uh, it was us, Kaito, Tenko. And Kaede, wasn't it? Okay, because I wondered if the rule of three people discovering it could count. The mastermind could count. Right. Unfortunately not. Get out of here and then I don't Get need it. the I don't need the V. I don't need That's it. Wrong. I just need to win. The mastermind saw what was happening in the library. They had surveillance cameras. That's right. Kibo mm -hmm. has photo evidence of it too. Surveillance cameras. What? what? Where would uh, Something like that be. <laughs> you don't know? Even though they're mono cubs just like you? Your lost brother? Watch you see like a tiny little explosion of the sixth mono cub get blown up. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> mono cubs? That's right. I mean these. Ah, so cute and tiny. Aren't they? They're your siblings too. <laughs> 
I love how Monokuma's just okay with us unraveling all of this. Yeah, I mean, it's all for the entertainment, you know? Honestly, Monokuma's gotta be, like, one of the best characters of the whole, like, Danganronpa Well, yeah, he's just always trilogy. got that intrigue, you know? Yeah, he's just funny and interesting, and he does not care about anything. You could literally end the killing game in front of him, and he'd be like, well, isn't that an interesting turn of events? Yeah, that's probably what'll happen. <laughs> yeah. That's a big reveal to drop so casually. These little guys are called Nanokumas. Their job How does is to he monitor know? the campus. Well, he's intelligent in some ways. Hmm. How do you know that? <laughs> oh, father told me. He said to make sure oh. I told everyone. Good job. I had completely forgotten about it. Good thing I just remembered. So we're supposed to know that from the beginning? Dumbass. I think he just you meant the monocubs. Oh. There are countless Nanokumas buzzing all over huh. the campus. Right. All the footage they record is wirelessly transmitted through Mother Kuma, and then sent to Monokuma. Yes, via Mother Kuma. That's an important point. It's Mother Kuma's in that room. Yep. If Mother Kuma receives the camera feeds, the mastermind could ask it anything. <laughs> hmm. They would know about the situation in the library and the hidden room. Honestly, if I were the mastermind, I'd have more than like two exits to this room. You know? Yeah, you think this would be the thing where you'd want like a million, but maybe that's the point. And they'd be way more hidden, you know? The mastermind might not have had access to do all that renovation, though. Maybe not. Might not have had time for some reason, because I still think it's weird they're doing construction after the killing game started. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just is to restore the labs and make it more interesting. Yeah. I see. Mother Kuma can tell them the interval timers for the cameras. <laughs> Then the mastermind was in the hidden room after they stole the monopad from Rantaro. But why would they steal the monopad? The mastermind was probably terrified by the idea of us picking up Rantaro's perk. No, that's wrong! What? Are the monocubs gonna explain? I wasn't necessarily afraid. The survivor perk was for Rantaro's eyes only. Sure, he could have shared the info with you, but that's not the same as getting the info directly from the monopad. Because then you can't say it was a survivor perk for Rantaro's eyes only, right? Okay, she's just given it a self-destruct function or something. Yeah. So when he died, I took it back. That's all. I don't know about that. Hmm, how do you figure? You look calm now. But at the time, you must have been pretty desperate. Thanks, Shuichi. The monopad clearly stated that there was a mastermind in the academy. Yes, it did. If we knew then that a mastermind was behind everything, we would have worked together. But you couldn't let that happen. You needed us to go after each other. <laughs> Either way, you admit the mastermind stole the monopad, right? Well, yes. But only reluctantly. Okay. Then the mastermind messed up. If they wanted to retrieve the monopad, they should have used Monokuma to do it. Nope, that's impossible. You're not allowed the to intervene. Is I can't participate ah. in a murder. Which okay. Includes tampering with the crime scene. Fair. The school rules. <clears throat> Wonder what yeah. other school You're rules so there are. About following the rules. Does that mean that someone is watching? I mean, obviously. If that's the case. Still, what a waste of a survivor perk. Hey, don't dodge me. Yeah. If only he lived a little longer, then this info would have made things interesting. Ah, stop changing the subject. For real. Also, Shuichi, can you just get to the point of the ball? <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> I still don't have the whole picture, but it seems that we're all being watched. In that case, this plan should go well. If I ruin this killing game by proving that it doesn't follow its own rules... Ratings will plummet. <laughs> I mean, technically. I should be able to end the whole thing. Do you think, like, Maki is watching us make faces in the corner and be like, what is he doing? <laughs> He's monologuing right now. Go away, Maki. Hmm. The mastermind stealing his survivor perk shouldn't affect it whatsoever. Okay. In the end, Kaede killed him. There's no shaking off that truth. Yeah, yeah! One truth prevails! No, that's not the truth. I'm certain of that. It's a lie that you made up. I agree. Me? Lie? That's right. Kaede wasn't the one who killed Rantaro. 
the true culprit is. Now we're getting into the meat. Mm-hmm. The mastermind. Yes. That's it. Because they had the ball. The, the balls to do such a thing. Monokuma. They're the one who killed Rantaro. The mastermind is the culprit? Jeez. And you call yourself the ultimate detective? I do. Trying to overturn the results of the first class trial. I'm gonna. The mono cups won't be silent about this. <laughs> oh boy. <gasps> blow, blow another what? one of them up. Us again? But we said we don't know. Okay. Just... I'ma fight you. No, no. not live okay. music. I'm always trying to listen for it. It's this one, but with voices. If yeah. Killer it's is a shot mastermind. ball with pink fiber, I'm guessing. That means Coyote was the mastermind. Can you prove the mastermind? It's a clue to the mastermind. Um, mastermind goes to the hidden room in the library quite often. Classroom that creates flashback lights reverts to its original state when its door is opened. Seems as though the person operating it was being cautious not to be seen by anyone. Right. I wonder how many times we were like in the room with them and they were hiding. But part of me, yeah, true. Part of me wonders if it could be any one of us that's still left alive. So, like, it really is just Sumugi. But she's cosplaying as Sumugi. But it's actually the mastermind. I wonder I if you know. look up, like, yeah, Junko's hide or something, what it would be. You mm. want evidence Kaeda is the culprit? The shot put ball at the there murder you go. scene. Let's get ready to do it. Yeah. The camera flash to lure well, I want to see the whole thing. I like being on top of it, though. <laughs> well, sometimes they have something really funny to say. The there you go. That'd be the one, though. Even the lethal yeah. shot put ball. Kaede had it all along. Or that one. That. See, Kaede's the mastermind after all. Why so interested in dead people? They're hot. You crack open a cold huh? One? <laughs> Not because they're dead. Oh. Okay. So it should it's be the first thing Monofini says. Either that or the second. This one, you think? Uh, well, we have nothing to lose by trying it. Okay. Guess it's the second one. Hey, you can't bully my cubs with nonsense just because they don't have their memories. Kaede herself acknowledged that she set it all up. I was wrong. Ooh, wrong. I love his. I was wrong. Well, that was close enough. I get the credit. Okay. <laughs> Thank That's you. Wrong. I really. <laughs> whatever. You can have it. Thank you. I'll take credit for everything else. The most important fact we discover during the investigation is this. The ball. The shot ball that Rantaro was killed with was different than the one Kaede had. It's the only clue we're, we're banking off of. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> A different shot put ball? I almost feel bad for the cops. I know, they're screwed. Yeah. I found a shot put ball in the trash can in the hidden room. But it was not the murder weapon. That shot put ball didn't have any blood on it. Rather, there was a pink fiber stuck to that shot. Man, I would have given it away. Yeah. Pink fiber? So what? Do you remember how Kaede was carrying the shot put ball? In her vest. Right. Kaede's backpack, she was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. Man, remember when Shuichi was so shy this trial? Seri yeah, seriously. It took him forever to, like, speak up and say anything. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. He's come a long way. I love the development on Shuichi. Yeah. Now he's a good old detective. She had it in her backpack. It was wrapped in her spare vest. Didn't we... Didn't you guys know that already? <laughs> Should've. Vest. Pink vest. That's right. I see. The shop put ball you found in the hidden room had a pink fiber on it. Yes. Yes. It's a fiber from her vest. And that's why we know it's a different one. Right. That can only mean that the ball I found was the one that was in Kaede's backpack. You know what's really interesting to me, though? Hmm. You know how you always see red as, like, the blood color? So, like, Maki wears a lot of red. You would, like, think of it as, like... Oh, because she's covered in the color of, like, blood, because she's an assassin oh, or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. Kaede would be the one covered in the blood color in this universe, you know? True, true. I just think that's weird. I wonder if r pink isn't, like, a cutesy, girly color, but actually, like, a super murdery, like, more well, intense color in this universe. I, I feel like in the game they still call blood red, but it's, like, an art a stylistic thing, because I could have sworn there was, like, the, someone saying, like, blood red or I something like that. I think they've like done that. it both ways. Because I think I think Monokuma called it pink one time, but then somewhere else they called it red, and I don't know. Who knows? 
Yeah. We'll just say it was the What'd radiation that did it. Really? I got yeah. no idea what you're talking about. That shot put ball did not have blood on it, so it could not have been the murder weapon. In short, the shot that Kaede used didn't hit Rantaro. I would love if Mew was here. And she also had like the mono cub blow up button and she just hit it like five <laughs> times real quick. <laughs> Maybe. She had her little sensor button. Maybe yeah. they just washed off the blood. If so, the fiber on the shot put ball would have been washed off as well. You know what I'm curious about? Hmm. Why couldn't Kokichi just uh, control Monokuma with the electronic device kidnapper? Might just not work. Maybe not. Maybe he's got like an advanced jamming thing. I mean, Monokuma. I think it'd like, be really cool if you saw Monokuma die and he was like actual flesh and blood, flesh and blood this time. You we've know? seen him get crushed though. I guess. Yeah, that's true. He gets crushed like right away. <laughs> it's clear to me that the real murder weapon is different than the shot Kaede had. Exactly. Hmm. Yes, Kaede set up the bookcase and rolled the shot into the vent. But that shot didn't hit Rantaro. Her plan failed. Cause she sucks. <laughs> what if he did say that? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It would have succeeded if I set it up, though. Of course. If you found that shot put ball in the hidden room, then that means I found the shot put ball in the hidden room because uh, the mastermind took it. Yeah. That's it. I'm guessing whatever thing they had devised in the vent was. Made it easy to retrieve the, the ball. Library. Only they could get in that room after all. I wonder where they got the, like where it was at. My biggest thing that I'm curious about is how they snuck around so easily, which is the only thing that makes me wonder if it could be one of us. Um, because you never question that if you saw Samugi running around or something, you know? Yeah, because like obviously they have a way to get from their room to. The library and to the girls' bathroom, but they also need to get to the flashback light room like at least five other times in the game, you know? There could be more secret paths than we think. I guess there could be more secret passages. We don't know that we found them all. But I would think they all got destroyed during Kibo's battle. But I'm just curious how they managed to sneak around so seamlessly. Like they had to leave the flashback lights in the dining room. They had to make them, they had to... I don't know. They didn't have a... food in that room down there, did they? They had to eat, somehow. I don't know, maybe Monokuma brought it. it. It does just make me wonder if it could be like Sumugi or something. Well, remember a lot of the times Monokuma could do this stuff too. Yeah, yeah that's like, true. Like, Monokuma could make those flashback lights. That, that's true. It's very realistic, I think, for the Mastermind to have only left that room during... Uh, well, right now, of course, because we went there. So you think they're just literally chilling down there the whole time, like, watching everything? I mean, yeah. I'd get bored. It didn't matter if there was a killing game going on. I'd still get bored. <laughs> the mastermind took it? Yes, ma'am. So they recovered yes, the shot that missed Rantaro, and he was killed by a different one. Rantaro was killed by the mastermind, who made it look like Kaede was the culprit. You gotta say that, Monokuma. That required a bit of trickery on the mastermind's part. They prepared their own shot to kill Rantaro and switched it with Kaede's shot. They took Kaede's shot put ball and stowed it in the hidden room. Still wondering why and how. To put it simply, Kaede didn't kill Rantaro. It was the mastermind. What? What? <laughs> Did you say? <sighs> is going to yell blow up <laughs> <laughs> what monodum why whoops i got too worked up and accidentally pressed the detonator yep mm, sure <laughs> the master i don't think you've seen blue before Carol, but why i believe sorry the had something to <laughs> why do you do that she took too long mm. <laughs> <laughs> the mastermind killed rentaro has to do with the time limit motive Interesting. Okay. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. Right. Kaede was keeping us all together, and we refused to kill each other. To break up the stalemate, the mastermind introduced that motive. Okay. Okay, so think along this line of logic. 
maybe because he would have survived the killing game. That would have been the end of it? Yeah, well, his goal, remember, was to win the killing game. He would have won the killing game if the time limit went all the way down and he was still alive. I don't know. I feel like Monokuma would just be like, well, you escaped, but I'm still going to kill you. That's true. Like, unless... Well, meant, what, uh, maybe, what else could it be then? Maybe Rintaro was going to kill the mastermind. He didn't have a weapon on him is my only butt to that. He got his hands. <laughs> He's the ultimate survivor, not ultimate boxer. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of weapons on his door. There are, but not in his lab. Not that he could even access his lab. That's true. However, this was a gamble. They didn't want to cause total chaos after all. Because that would just end everything. They wanted an exciting killing game. That motive put pressure on the Mastermind, as well as us. Yes, Kaede had a plan to kill the Mastermind, but Rantaro was caught in the trap. However, her plan ultimately failed. The shot put ball that she rolled didn't hit Rantaro. Which would have made the Mastermind look stupid if they hosted a killing game that didn't go anywhere. So they were like, I guess I'll take it into my own hands and make it look like she did it. I don't know if she cared... Or not she. I'm going with the assumption it's Kaede's twin. I, I think that makes sense. They wouldn't bring that up for no reason. Right. But I don't I don't know if it's not that I don't know. They probably they wanted it to go on for longer. Right. I don't think they cared about looking stupid. It's probably just I don't want this to end so soon. Well, you know what I mean though. Like it a killing game wouldn't be entertaining if no one was killed. Right. <laughs> like then the killing game would look dumb, like, okay, this is boring. Mm-hmm. Because it missed, we would have been annihilated due to the time limit. Very true. But the mastermind yeah. wanted to avoid that situation, it always makes me like, so they took action. Like, it hurts my eyes. What's going on? Stop <laughs> it. Thanks to the Nanokumas, the mastermind would have known Kaede's intended murder weapon. So when her plan failed, they would already have another shot put ball prepared. Okay. Then, the mastermind manipulated the scene to make it look like Kaede succeeded. All they had to do was hide Kaede's shot in the hidden room that only they could enter. So, Kaede was executed on false charges? <laughs> that Shuichi made? <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yes. Yes, she was. She didn't actually kill anyone. But there was like, besides the like, monopad thing, there's like nothing to go off of. Right. And even that, like, where do you go with that one clue, the monopad? It's not like you can prove, oh, it was the mastermind that we're not even sure is real. Yeah. So. But maybe it would have made something happen. I don't know. Mm. We will find out in the next episode. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you guys for watching. It's really hot in this room. <laughs> I'm not bothered too much by it. I think it's always worse on this side because I'm by the window and the computer. Mm. Yeah, I remember we tested that one time. I like walked over there, and it's like, oh, yeah. I'm but, pretty. Um, I'm chill over here. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> uh, I, I don't really have any new theories yet because this is all stuff we've predicted already. This is, this is still intro stuff, I think. Yeah, it's gonna get. We've a lot hardly wilder. even play had to play any mini games yet either. I'm like four, if even. Now it's gonna be like, and this is where it gets real. Yeah, because we've exposed this part. What's Monokuma gonna do? do now like i'm honestly just waiting for it to get to that crazy crazy point you know yeah because right now i'm like yeah that's true that's true mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep. okay i know i know yeah i know i know <laughs> but uh thank you guys for watching and we will see you maybe tomorrow goodbye Adios.